How to make a flower with royal icing. Hi everyone and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. In this video I am going to share with you how I am going to make a blue bonnet flower using royal icing. This technique you can use it to make any kind of flower. The blue bonnet is the Texas flower and it is very very pretty and it is very nice to see the fields around springtime where I live. Okay, so I'm super excited to share this tutorial with you, but first, if you're new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button, and let's get started! First, I started by baking a rectangle cookie and let it cool down. Now I am going to prepare my icing. For this cookie, I am going to cover it with white icing, okay? I am going to use a magic consistency. If you click the link above, there is a very good tutorial. What I like about the magic consistency is that you can skip the step of outlining your cookie and this consistency won't overflow on top of your cookie. I have done this consistency so many times that I don't need to measure, I just add little bit by little bit the water and I get it to the consistency that I like. think that the consistency is similar to a white glue it is runny but still has a little bit of body now I am going to test if the icing is ready what I look is that my icing spreads very nicely and it doesn't leave any marks on the icing I think it is perfect if your icing looks like in this cookie, it means that it needs a little bit more water because you don't want these lines on top of your cookie. It needs to look smooth like this. For this occasion, I am going to tint my natural icing using a little bit of white food gel color. You can see here in the video how adding this food gel color is going to make your icing more bright and more white. And you don't need to add that much, a little bit goes a long way and your icing is going to look very bright after your cookie is dry and it will stay like that forever. Okay, I am going to cover my cookie. shake your cookie and tap it so if there are some bubbles they can come up on the top and then you can pop them now I am going to let dry my cookie completely now that my cookie is completely dry I am going to use my projector and my iPhone to make the blue bonnet flower and if you want to learn how to set up this kind of projector please click the link above or also look in the description of this video for the link okay this is the size that I want now I have here navy blue and natural color magic consistency icing and one thing that is very important is when you're going to do this technique your icings in the colors that you're going to choose they need to have the same consistency okay very good I am going to use skewers and you can also use toothpicks and first I am going to make the little flowers so I am going to dip my skewer and then I am going to start As you can see, my cookie is completely dry. And I am just going to be tracing the flower with the icing. Okay, and now I am going to use the white icing
Now I am going to let dry my cookie completely and later on with a brown fine tip edible marker I am going to trace the stems and some other details. the cookie looks at the end. I decorate a little bit the border of the cookie and I use a writing consistency icing to write the scientific name of the Texas Blue Bonnet that is Lupinus Texensis. Okay guys this is it for today. I hope that with this technique you can make any kind of flower on a cookie. Okay if you like this video Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave me any comment, question or suggestion, follow me on my social media and don't forget to be always super creative in all your baking and particularly in your cookie decorating. See you until next time. Bye bye.